guys. Emergency situations and times like these, you gotta stay strong. Huh? Good morning, Jake Paulers. What is going on, people? So much happened today, and I'm gonna narrate it all for you guys. Again, it was another inspiring, hardworking, rough, emotional, and stressful day. We started uh, super, super early, and are just now, uh, just now getting back here. But if you're new here, I'm Jake Paul. You guys are the Jake Paulers. Again, if you haven't watched the other vlogs, I am in Houston. Uh, helping out with the whole Hurricane Harvey situation. And before we get started, guys, in light of recent events, be grateful for what you have. Keep on smiling, keep on dabbing on them haters, and keep on working hard. If you do all of those things in life, you will be successful no matter what. But let's get right into it. So this morning started off super fast paced, like there was no breaks. Roll it. We just got to the first location, guys. This is, we're, we're going back in. There's basically tons and tons of people that need help. Oh, th there's more people back there, yeah? Let me explain the situation and why it's such a problem to be saving all of these people and why there's still so many people to be saved. Imagine like a bunch of different ponds separated from each other and homes in the middle of the ponds. If you take a boat into one of the ponds to get to the other pond, it doesn't work because in the middle, it's not flooded. So then basically you can't take your boat any further, and so that's why people can't get out. So you basically have to navigate around the whole entire city. We've been driving for hours already. I, this is the beginning of the vlog. And find these different areas that you can actually get in. So that's why it's so complicated. This is absolutely insane. Everyone still needs help. We are currently in the in the middle of this highway right now we have the, the government like fema people right here more government people right down here and we have a confirmed address of somewhere that someone that needs help basically people are running around and it's really hard to access the homes because you don't know which waterways are too shallow look at all these electrical wires you don't know what's going to happen but we're just going to go for it literally what's going on here is um fema has these big boats and they can't get in these areas where we can get on the jet skis and just helping so many people right now it's, it's insane like I just talked to this lady she lost her house her two cars her dogs her animals and she's still smiling so it's just like we we're just trying to help everybody right now this is insane he's a Jake Pauler Jake Pauler okay? been waiting by the truck is he okay hey, he's good he's brought you water no this is a G what is up what's your name Krishna is your family hey. good yeah all you need is water my boy brought me water Yo, the Jake Paulers are out here saving the day. My boy's a savage. Dude, thank you so much. You're welcome. They said that we need to get, I just talked to one of these officers. They said that they need to get a dog all the way across here. Um, is, there a, is the dog here? Oh, yeah, no, no, she's walking. You have a barrier they right said, here, bud. They said, uh, I told them we'd run him across on the ski just fine. Is this the dog? Where, do you know you have the address of where it needs to go? I'll find out again. She's right. What? Yeah. I'm gonna get you across. Hi. You are so adorable. Hi. We got a little puppy rescue as the first mission. I don't know if you can see this. They try to track people down and communicate with the government. The thing is, guys, is that the government has certain regulations on things they can and can't do when they're going to rescue people, which is why it's almost better that the civilians of Texas are here rescuing people. Oh, we're good. Oh, it's shallow. It's really shallow. Okay. I got you. Come on, puppy. Here. It's, I'll, I'll, grab, I'll give it to him. All right. Bye, little guy. What's your name? There you go, Thanks. sir. Cool. I see a lot of commercial buildings. There's, There's a residential area back, all the way back in there. This is what I'm talking about. Like, we need help because look at that. That's the cop asking me for information. Like, no one knows what's going on, and everyone's just trying to help. So, 
I don't know what to do, but like we're just going and going and going. Yeah. All right, so now we're taking people back to their apartment building to grab some stuff. Missions on missions, these people need us. Get back, right? Yeah, I gotta, yep. get, I gotta get it back. Alright. We'll wait right here, alright? Okay, appreciate it. Yeah. Now we have an address of apparently there's like a dozen or so people back in this neighborhood. The government doesn't know where we are they are. We have an address um, from somebody. Cade's Sea Doo isn't running well. And this is where it's gonna get dangerous because the currents and back channels and the flow of the water back in these neighborhoods is really random. I don't know what's about to go down and his sea is not doing well. This is what I'm talking about with the ponds. See, this is a street right here where there's no water and we need to go over there, but going through here is like really sketchy because it's like industrial spots and you don't know how shallow it gets, but we need to get to the people back there. It gets shallow, so you don't, you can't get around. Like, there's no water here. He was evacuated from that address. This is like what I'm talking about, where there's the communication and like the whole city of Houston is bad. Uh, he was already evacuated, and so you never know like who's helping who. Does anybody need help? Anybody? Does anybody need help? Uh, no. Where are you from? California. How'd you get here? We drove. Drove? Yeah. Thank you guys. Yeah, of course. There you go. I sure appreciate it. Yeah, of course, sir. Are you from out here? No, I'm from California. Oh, really? Yeah. Jeez, you drove in for this? Yeah, yeah. Someone said that uh, there's someone in here. So or I think we're gonna pull them out. Are you good? You need anything else or no? I'm good. Really appreciate it. You okay, uh, Thomas? We're coming back now. Staying at a motel or? Uh, I'm trying to, I'm staying with a buddy. I'm trying to rent a house for a year or whatever. It's just gonna be hard to get. Let's pick up these jet skis. Yeah, I feel like it's gonna get deep. Yeah, I feel like this is deep, bro. That's deep. Oh, that's oh, put your window up. Put your window. Your window. Bro, it's almost over the hood. Oh my god. I, I'm a survivor. Whatever my kids are doing, I'm usually there in the middle of it, wondering why I'm there. <laughs> <laughs> but having a blast. You know, you go hunting and fishing. The last time we were 84? She looks better than I do. What are you doing out here? <laughs> Helping you guys get you a car. Right the the <laughs> I mean, really? You let him take us over there. Yeah, we should go. We should take you. Uh, let me take, like, I have to call my son-in-law. Well, yeah, we'll talk to him. Come in on. the absence of our sons, they live in Atlanta. Is that your son-in-law? Are they coming? No, uh, this. She is where the boats are. Talk to her. This Hello. is one of our rescuers here. Hello, Barbara. They're coming for you. Yeah. We got. That's a. I am sorry. I I can walk to. Your hu your husband's there. Yeah. Your husband's ba stuck back there. Uh no. Uh, I can call her. I can let her. He know. Where I'm. 
Okay. Just, all right, all right, we, we got you. Meet us right over there. We're gonna take. We're gonna you. Pull yeah, through. just pull over there. This is awesome right now. So we were about to leave. We haven't eaten. Cade's actually. Look at this. Carrying this lady. You good? Cade, hey, you got it. Okay guys, so as we were leaving, this lady came up and like smashed, like smacked on the window and was like, can you please help me, my husband's back there. So Jake's taking her now and he's just taking her across to the other side to back to her husband where her house is. Yeah, she seemed pretty distraught, like she was really upset. We were on our way out to leave. We haven't eaten all day, we're exhausted, we've been in the sun. And uh, yeah, it's crazy man, it's crazy. All right guys, I think we're done running missions here. Everyone is safe. I think they need us at the helicopter safe. Yo, are we are we going in the helicopter? Run, so like you're like you just go ahead and head that way like you know how far you are no I don't know I'm gonna go right now I'm gonna go right now all right okay guys um so we just got to the we just got to the airspace come on Chad we're about to go up over the city of Houston we're helping them figure out where the floods are where they're gonna drop off some some supplies I don't know what is really going on uh, but we'll be able to get an aerial view of like the whole entire city let's go all right guys this is one of this is one of the army helicopters they basically take supplies up into the air to like the different shelters and then drop off the food for them. We are going in this blue helicopter right there. Guys, emergency situations and times like these, you gotta stay strong and stay positive. That's what I talk about on a day to day basis with these vlogs. It's like, smile every day, work hard every day. I love you guys, seriously. I mean that from the bottom of my heart. Like, I love the Jake Paulers, each and every single one of you anyone who watches these videos I love you guys thank you for supporting me and I don't take it for granted ever these families need us we and now we need to support them Guys, you will literally see here that like the these farms and literally whole entire areas of farms are just completely flooded. Here you will see this is where they're letting like water go into the city. A lot of people think that since it's not raining that they're okay, but this isn't true. They're holding water behind this wall and letting it into the city uh, in a controlled way. Jake Pollers, you can see literally this whole entire airport is underwater this is like the tarmac area there's planes like are over in this area this airport used to be like uh bringing in supplies for families um but now as you can see it's just like run down so guys as you can tell the city is devastated we need more help and that's why i wanted to show you guys Get up in the air. Everybody thinks that everything's okay now because it's not raining. But in fact, now is the time where everyone needs to help the most because now it's time to fix the damages. Anyone who lost anybody, it's truly, truly tragic. And if you guys can help in any way, go fund me, merch, whatever you wanna do, it would be so appreciated. Not just by me, but by everyone in the city of Houston. I can only imagine how many more people out there like that. And again, like we need your guys' help. If you can get involved in any possible way, 100% of the Houston Harvey t-shirt merchandise is going back to these victims and to these families. Or don't forget about the GoFundMe link in the description, guys. We have a 500K goal. I know the Jake Pollers can hit it. Let's raise that money, they truly, truly need it. Or I cannot stress it enough. The Jake Paulers need to come together and 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 unite and and 
use all of our resources to help in any way possible. Today was such a learning lesson and a life-changing day again and again and again. I'm learning so much. I'm, uh, I have so much empathy. I have so much empathy for, for these individuals and for these families. They're going through a lot right now. I can't even imagine like what it would be like to go through that personally. I don't know what I would do. Again, guys, thank you so much for watching. Keep those families in your prayers. Keep on smiling. Be grateful for everything you have. Smash that subscribe button if you aren't already a Jake Pauler. Join the family. Join the merch movement. We're so out here. I'm going to keep on grinding. I'm going to keep on doing everything I can, guys. Keep me. Keep these families. Keep Team 10 in your prayers. And uh, I will see you guys tomorrow because it's every day. Bruh. Peace. Jake Pauler's What's Poppin'. Check out this new merch. Ooh, that merch is hot, boy. New items of merchandise. Limited time. Click the link. Make sure you're subscribed to keep up with my life on a daily basis. And if you want to see more content, check out yesterday's vlog because it is super lit. Plus, I have a second channel, Jake Paul 2, which you guys can subscribe to right now. And if you want to see more content from everyone in the house, our group channel is called Team 10. Check it! See you guys tomorrow. Peace!